I would like to ask you to imagine something with me. Moscow, winter, everything covered with snow, snow is falling. One beautiful corner apartment overlooking on the right side the Moscow River, on the left side beautiful, stunning architectural creations. This exact apartment sold for $7 million, but it's not sold by its owners, but stolen. Second story, an FDA audit, the American Food and Drug Administration goes into a fab to test a biopharmaceutical company that produces a life-saving drugs needs to go over this check. What the FDA found out, they check the laboratory sheets and find out a signature of a manager, regular document, but it was dated. They cross the information along with the database of the attendance on that day, and they found out this manager was not at work that day. This immediately resulted in a warning, warning in the FDA audit of a company that's looking to enter with its product to the American market. Fifth floor, Novi Arbat 24, Moscow. This is the apartment from the first story. Apartment owned by the Berestetsky family, stolen. Naum Berestetsky is my partner. The second story is the first company I worked for, biopharmaceutical factory in Israel that gave me the first chance after I graduated. I was the engineer and Naum was my boss and my reason staying in the company. Ten years, it was ten years ago, and times has passed, and me and Naum met again to work again as partners on a new project. Hard copy papers will stay with us. It's not what happened in the fab, it's not a fraud or intense crime, it's just a way of doing business. Processes might go on and on. People should sign in order the process to go on. It's a habit that should not happen, but it's happening. Physical documents will not eliminate foreign lives. They will stay with us, maybe forever, but they carry a lot of security vulnerabilities. How many times have you been out of office asking your secretary to forge your signature? We, I work here in the co-working seven locations. I have to do it all the time, unfortunately. Do you have really backup of the documents that you signed? Do you know where they are, what you signed? How many of you lost a document? Can you slightly raise your hands? Have you lost a document? More, I believe everybody. Actually, you're not alone. It's, it's one of the top five things that people lose. And the most, the one the most spend time on looking for and with no success mostly, out of all. Yeah, along with car keys and phones. So documents are here and they carry lots of problems with them. We are doing the exact thing to address these issues. We have developed a device that has the latest technology and connectivity of a new smartphone, along with GPS, Wi-Fi, you name it. With this device, you can sign documents from remote. Whenever you are, you get the link, you approve, and the device, which is in the size half of your fist, creates your signature there. It creates a signature in form of a QR code, and in the QR code, your data, the data of the signer, and the document itself are encryption. We as a company, we connect modern encryption, digital signatures and electronic signature into simple paper and signing with the latest tech on a simple paper that is here for ages. This is basically what we do. Now, you ask yourself, how do we connect to all of these moments and what is the connection to me, but you understand that we created this technology in 
from the point of pain and difficulty in the real life. And we hope that with this technology we can help ourselves doing better business, faster business, more convenient business, and helping the world do the same. We are a young company from Israel. I'm a Bulgarian, and I'm feeling proud to give this technology to the world. I would like to show you the device. Unfortunately, due to the situation in Israel, flights were almost entirely canceled and we couldn't bring it here. So I'll show it to you. This is the device. It's a small miniature device. It's also a printer, mini size printer, and it works fantastically. I hope this will make the world a safer place, more arranged place, and with more confidence when you sign papers or your important documents. But where we started from? Actually, we started of solving our own pain, our own problem. As small as it may be, it might be a problem with big pain. If this innovation existed back then, the apartment in Moscow would have still been as its owners. My inspiration to talk to you is use your own problems, your own difficulty, your deepest pain into create innovation and companies. Start a business for personal difficulty. This is the best way. Thank you very much for listening.